Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Honor and Tech Corner, the corner of the web where we talk about tech. Uh, this week, Apple released a new event uh, outlining their new MacBook. And uh, gather my thoughts, and I'm ready to share them. Let's get started. Alright, so, like I said, uh, Apple released a new event on the 18th of October. First of all is that awesome intro uh, that's created with a lot of uh, sound effects from older Apple products. That was kind of a nice touch. And they like to take the uh, the odd event to talk about uh, the HomePods and other small electronics. Um, so the HomePod Mini's got uh, new colors, um, but they're still the same expensive price, so nothing really new. And they also covered uh, the AirPods in this event as well. Um, the AirPods get an upgrade. Um, it's uh, spatial audio, water, uh, water resistance, and longer battery life. All three are welcome additions to uh, the product line. So the very first product they uh, bring out in the, in the presentation is the M1 Pro CPU. The M1 Pro is kind of an extension to the M1. Uh, almost like how the Xeon is Intel's extension to like the i uh, i7, i5, and all that. The new M1 Pro uh, supports memory up to 32 gigs, and that's shared between both system and video memory. Uh, and a new LPDDR5 interface um, on a 5 nanometer chip. It's a 10 core CPU with 8 high performance cores and two high efficiency cores. And it also comes with a 16 core GPU, which is double uh, the M1. That one is only eight. The next thing they uh, announced was the M1 Max, uh, which supports up to 64 gigabytes of memory, doubles the video cores again. They kind of made an argument for the performance per watt, which is something they did way back in 2004, 2005 from the uh, G5 processor to the Intel processor. And now the now the big announcement, they brought out the MacBook Pro, which is one of the thinnest uh, MacBook Pros they ever came out with. Although a lot of things have changed, the outside still does look like it came from 2009, let's be honest here. It does come with the new uh, connectors on the side. Full-size HDMI, Thunderbolt 4, uh, and an SD card slot on one side, and on the other side comes with a headphone jack, hallelujah, and two more Thunderbolt 4s, and uh, MagSafe is now back on the MacBook. And in terms of the screen, they did upsize the screen size, but did we really need a notch on a laptop? I mean, uh, there are other laptops out there, I think the ThinkPad from uh, Lenovo has a pop-up camera. So, did we really need the notch like we do on the phones? Just on a funny side note, when I first heard the term Liquid XDR, first thing that came up was uh, something said by Steve Jobs when he first introduced the Aqua interface, which was... Because it's liquid. One of the design goals was when you saw it, you wanted to lick it. And they really updated the camera as well. Um, it's a full uh, 1080p uh, camera, so welcome to 2017 Apple. And the rest of the presentation was a bunch of slides where uh, the they said how it was four times faster than previous uh, MacBooks. They, they they really like to say how they, they improved upon themselves over the years. They've been doing this for quite some time. I kind of like uh, Apple to go back to the old days where they're comparing themselves to other products, kind of giving us a reason to switch rather than a reason to upgrade. But they did impress me on a comment they made about how the highest end MacBook is comparable to a 28 core Xeon Mac Pro, which is a honking beast if anybody's ever used one. I never used one, but I've seen videos. That's impressive if you can make a laptop comparable to that. All right, uh, that seems to sum up my coverage on the October 18th uh, presentation from Apple. Uh, I thank you for watching. Well, I'd like to uh, get your guys' opinion on something. Uh, 
What do you think of the new products out from Apple this time around? Do you think it was a necessary upgrade, or do you think uh, they could have done better by actually showing us real-world performance? Uh, personally, I can't wait to see what the actual performance is going to be. Uh, please leave it a like. If you like the video, dislike the button is down there if you dislike this video. Please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon for future notifications. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day, everybody.